Hey Legionnaires and welcome back with another battle in Siege Week and obviously it is another great great siege and we have a Rome 2 siege week today 4v4 sent in by a sub drunk Norwegian, the drunk Norwegian and it is an excellent one we have a great battle and maybe some a few sallies out um, but yes we have some it's an interesting one we have uh, Rome, Macedon uh, Pontus and Syracuse attacking. I'm pretty sure we have Sparta and Athens defending along with Epirus and Bactria. I think of the other two, um, if I remember rightly. Um, Pontus bringing some interesting stuff. I'll quickly go over some of like the comps um, while this battle slowly gets underway. I mean, side chariots, an interesting decision. Oh, a very good hit to start off as well there. A fiery ball coming in, killing a few eastern archers. Um, and then there's so yeah, we're going to see how like these side chariots will be used. I think he's brought three units. So interesting to see what he's going to do with them. Hits again. I think he, I think the defender over here is trying to hit them. He's got some, uh, hit some Cretan uh, mercenary archers instead. Um, again, I think missing and hitting those eastern archers. Not really sure what he's going for. But um, we'll put this to normal speed as it gets underway. And the first tower is going up. I think we've got some uh, Thorax swords here getting ready. Getting up on the walls, and this is going to be the first challenge to the defenders. Shouldn't be too hard, it's just a single unit. I think they're actually focusing down the crew of the attack. It's a bit of a waste of ammo, to be honest. But, um... I guess not the end of the world. What is he aiming at? He keeps it... Oh, he's going for pikes back here. Good target, actually, to be aiming for. I think he's actually trying to go for the other artillery. Trying to snipe that out. Interesting decision. Sparta sending out some citizen cavalry. I think he's just going to see what there is. Oh gosh, the side chariot's already been sent in. Actually, a few of them have been taken out by the artillery. Um, and the citizen cavalry's not having any of it. It's going to run back inside. Probably a smart decision. Uh, don't really want to be out here when uh, the chariots take you out. They'll take out man, horse, just about anything. So thank you all for very much support. Uh, thank you so much for the support on the first battle, the Siege of Vienna. Um, did really, really well, and I'm glad you all enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed recording it. And uh, yeah, let's try and get a similar sort of response for this one. I hope you all enjoy, and leave a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe if you're new around here. And here we go. Epirus is sending up mercenary Italian swords. And it's going to be facing off of Rhone. Looks like it's going to be some legionaries that are going to be the first into the breach. So I think these guys should probably clear these mercenary Italian swords off. They're pretty weak. Never really too impressed. Oh, okay, overshot that. Um, what do we have here? A breach has been opened up and Athens has been revealed. And he has Thorax swords ready in position. Almost in a V shape. He really needs to tighten this up. Make this like a V like so. If you follow like my mouse, it's like that's what I'd say I'd do. Then you can really corner these guys off. Here we go. Light hot plights. Ready to defend this choke point. And the Thorax swords are just going to be let onto the wall. Interesting. Right, if I was the Thorax swords now, after you've taken out this ballista crew, I'd just stand up here and then I'd throw down as many jabs as possible. But they're not going to get chance. As it looks like um, Athens is setting up some Thorax swords of his own. Interesting to see... Um, He's only sent up like a couple of guys. I wonder if the rest will go get sent up. He seems like he's given up on that decision. Okay, here comes Spa with a lot more cavalry. Oh my gosh. He's actually going for a, a proper... A huge Sally. Jeez. Sparta has brought like an entire army of cavalry, it would seem. Rome is already breaking over here. Like these Cretan, uh, these aren't Cretan actually, so these agrarian axemen really, really dealing well on the uh, uh, legions. Look at this 120 and they're broken, they are routing. That is huge. But we'll quickly go back over to Sparta. What is going on here? This is interesting. Look at this insane. And then we've got Spartan hot plates back here. We'll quickly have a look at what else we've got. Periacoi pikes. Um, Bactria is bringing a lot of Bactria Hillmen. It clearly is like a cheap army. Like cheap, well not cheap army, but they had like a small um, funds possibly because like otherwise Rome you would have thought would have brought brighter stuff than legionaries I would have thought. I mean he has brought armored legionaries as well in Chiarii, so maybe not. Maybe just decided on legionaries for his first wave, I'm not sure. I would have possibly brought just all the Evocati or something like that. But this is going to be huge by Sparta. He's got to surely send out his cavalry, like, if you brought this much cavalry, I don't know if there's rules, like, a certain amount of rules that they were able to use and stuff like that, but, like, a limit on cav, but clearly not, 
And um, all the attackers need to really gather their cavalry around here. Like, this is a problem. But anyway, while that's been going on, um, it looks like Athens and Syracuse have been fighting it out on the walls. Actually, it looks like it's Athens and Pontus now. I think Syracuse was, yeah, was killed off. Syracuse is all dead here on the walls. But here we go, so it looks, uh, there might be a few of them left, I'm not sure, but this looks like a few of them like pinned in here. But I mean, this is not looking good, I mean, they need to go off these walls quickly. I mean, they are going to lose a few units, I mean, look at all these archers back here just lining up as a battery, ready to just take out anything. Um, what have they got here then? They've got Thorax Hot Plights. I would actually probably send these in, like, quickly send these guys in, see if you can split these two units. Because this is still a problem. Like, the attackers could really do with sending something in here. Just need to test them, see if they can keep their micro up. Because, I mean, just constantly sending guys up on this wall, this is not going to end well. These Pontic Swords are going to get slowly taken out by all those archers down there. And here, here we go. Spar's sending out his cavalry again. And it looks like they might catch him. Sorry for the amount of lag. I'm not quite sure why that is the case. Maybe it's just the amount of units on the battlefield. But here we go. And there they go, they've been caught. So it looks like it's some Italian uh, cavalry that has joined them. And it's caught these uh, citizen cavalry out. And here we go, we're going to have some Hippias Lancers, I think, joining the fight. Yep, so Syracuse sent in his general. Big risk. And here we go, some chariots coming in. I do know that Drunk Norwegian loves his chariots. So let's see, is Sparta sending out more cavalry? He looks like he is going to send out more cavalry. And here we go. Here come the scythe chariots. Their damage is never as, never as uh, easy to tell how much damage they do with cavalry as they do with their I infantry. It's a shame because really they would have just taken out so many cavalry uh, legs doing that, like horses legs. I mean they are actually breaking at 50 so I imagine the chariots are having a lot of uh, effect there. But they have so much more cavalry here, they really need to send this all back inside. Like, I think like they've got the strong Pontic Royal Cavalry here, they're just going to destroy all this. This is medium melee to very heavy shock. Even if they are shock, I'm sure they'll overwhelm them. Uh, Hippias Lance is again heavy shock. I think Syracuse and Pontus have really done well here. They've really wrapped up all this uh, Spartan cavalry. And they've got it in this choke point here. So, I mean, Sparta can't use his cavalry to great effect and start harassing people. He really should have sent some out over some other walls. I mean, look at this by Macedon. Didn't even see this. Look at this breach he's opened up. It's all going off now. I mean, this is insane. So, I mean, who's defending over here then? It looks like it's going to be Bactria and Epirus taking on most of the uh, the flak here. And it looks like Masson's going to send him a lot of um, hot, pli uh, hot plights. Um, he's fighting a lot of hot plights. He's fighting um, with some Thorax swords. And they're already pushing through. This is okay. This is not the bad pulling through. This is just the unit, like, doing its own thing. I think he is sending the attack order here, but this is huge. Like, they push through and now they can flank the uh, hot plight. Formation and they're gonna buckle. That's not gonna be doing so well. It's doing okay for now, but in time that will buckle. I mean over here looking Okay, I mean they're actually losing decisively just now getting overwhelmed by these Thorax swords. Thorax swords clearly do very very well against hot plights um, If you ever need to wonder what to bring against hot plights, Thorax swords, they do well And because of that pikes being sent in it looks like already Epirus is committing his pikes Never a good sign that the pikes are already being sent in this early. And you don't usually give them the attack order. I find you just like, yep, yeah, he's doing the right thing. He's just getting them nice in behind. And then he's going to then gradually walk them forward. Look at this. Wall of pikes. Now these hot plates, are tra these thorax are trapped in here. And here they go. They're going in, I think. I don't know if he's given the attack order. I'm not really sure. But that is very, very good. So, I mean, Epirus is sort of dealing with it. But actually, no, he's not. Thorax swords are getting around, and this is okay as well, because he has actually got a gap, he's not pulling through. But it's not very good for uh, Epirus, he really needs to sort this out, and that's going to threaten his pikes. Rome is clearly bringing his stuff over as he sees this is a very good opportunity to get inside the walls. I don't think Rome's having much luck over here against Bactria. Um, yeah, he's not really. And I don't know why the general is so close, I guess he's there for morale reasons, but... Rome looks already almost spent. He's got a lot of stuff on the walls. There is a lot over by Macedon, and he is now sending the rest of his Praetorian Guard over there. So clearly he's spent a lot of money on his uh, late-tier units. I mean, he's got legionaries in here. He's got Sokii ex Extraordinary. Interesting unit to bring. Um, wouldn't have brought them myself. I would have probably just brought more legionaries, but 
worth a try. I mean, I'm sure these archers are racking up kills up here. But they're finally breaking this Thorax Sword unit here. They need to get off the walls as soon as possible. And uh, so they need to kill this other Thorax Sword unit. But I mean... Actually, they're killing off these Agrarian Axemen quite quickly and quite nicely. So that's okay. Um, and this is a pretty weak under underbelly over here. He's only got Thoros Spears, which will Rome could probably blitz through. And he's got some, like I said, Agrarian Axemen. So... This might be okay. You might actually have some luck here, but I mean, they've got stuff set up ready. They've got a Greek Scorpion. I'm not quite sure what it's firing at. Um, not actually sure. It might be firing at the... Yeah, I think it's firing at the Triarii on the wall. So that's nice the angle he's got over there. Let's quickly have a look at what's going on over here. Um, looks like no more luck really for Pontus and Syracuse. I mean, they have sent troops in here now, but I mean, look at this. They've really sorted out their V formation. Um, perfectly. I mean, they've got another unit over here that's just fighting individually. Um, with pikes and thorax swords. That's no luck they're going to have there. So, I mean, this just seems like um, just a, a death sentence for any attacker going through here. So much stuff. They need to just get archers in here. And they're bulking up so many troops. So these units here need to be a sacrifice now just to, like, fire down into this huge blob of defenders. And then they could really make some work. I mean, it looks like Sparta's sending out more cavalry. He's sending out infantry now to support this fight. Finally, Syracuse is losing some guys in this fight. I'm not sure if Pontus lost any. Lost a few. He's still got most of his men in there, I think. He's got archers now setting up. He's got his uh, side chariots back here. This is becoming a field battle, in so really. This is insane. Sparta, who's probably, probably the best defensive unit or best defensive faction, is now being the most offensive of any... Faction. This is just bizarre. In total, I mean, Bactria's now got. Yeah, ba I was thinking that Bactria is um, attacking, but he's not. Of course, he's defending. So Syracuse's general's really in trouble here, and they need to get him out of here. They need to like. I think um, Pontus has to sacrifice his cav and his uh, chariots. I think, like, Syracuse is in real trouble here, and they could do with sending up some. Infantry of the Rome, but Syracuse, I mean, he's all, he's nearly committed everything already. And here we go, I didn't even see this, but Athens has got cavalry over here. He's got um, some citizen cavalry. And I get, what would they actually be able to get? They could get a lot of archers, there's some pikes back here that are still yet to go in. Um, the general, but I mean, I don't think they could take out the Pontic Royal, uh, Royal Cavalry. I mean, they've actually been sniped out a little bit. They've got an Eastern Scorpion, that could be huge. If I was um, Pontus, if he's realised his cavalry, I'd turn it to face that way. And I would focus him down. Greek Ballista here, which I think still got its crew. I mean, it looks like it's lost... It says three out of four, but I mean, they all seem to be behind one... Oh no, the rest are up here. Okay, that's really bizarre. I was wondering where the rest of the Ballistas are, but they're all up here. So one's got trapped behind the siege tile wall. Um, but yeah, I would say Syracuse and um, Pontus having a really tough time here. And Syracuse is about to break his general. This is huge. Um, attacked in the rear. Yep. Yeah. So eventually just huge amounts of Sparta's, Sparta's um, cavalry is just going to give way. And here we go. Pontus is now sending in more stuff. His cavalry is sending in side chariots again. I'd say Macedon's making the most... Um, like the best out of his uh, attacks. But he's still not really getting very far. These pikes have become a real problem. They need to just get archers in and focus these guys down. I mean they are doing so. They also look like they're just going for the Thoros Spears in behind. And these guys have shields. Don't really need to shoot them. Shoot these pikes. I know they have shields, but their shields aren't as... Uh, they're on their arms. They're not protecting mo much of their body. And these boys are uh, nice, easy pickings for archers. I mean, they've got cavalry in here now. This is getting desperate for... Um, a bit desperate, really, from Macedon. What's this? The Salian Cavalry. They're shot cavalry. Send them over there. They need cavalry over here to help contain all this cavalry. Do they not realize what's going on? Like, if this cavalry gets out, they're in real trouble. I mean, they could get out. There's a huge gap here. I think this is what this Tarantine Cavalry is going to try and do. Yeah, that's really going to be some trouble. I mean, actually, this cavalry is not breaking. This Pontic Royal Cavalry. Uh, there's another one in here that's holding the line, but they really need to start sending more stuff in. They need some infantry here. Ah, they're sending the Eastern Scorpion here. Okay, this could work, but infantry would be better. Infantry is going to be what's able to hold that cavalry in place. Some spears would be really good. Rome is nearly beaten over here, I am shocked to say. 
He's, I mean, Sokai Extraordinarii losing Legionnaires, which are fairly battered, but they, they may hold on. Got um, Thorax Swords holding the line. These guys are... Uh, Oh god, I hate the cameras on the wall. I do apologize. Zoom in, that's probably a better idea. But yeah, I'd say these um What are these? These are uh, oh Epris has sent up some stuff. Um some mercenary Samonite warriors and these Sorax swords are probably gonna do the job. Oh but Rome has got down here. This is huge, and he's having to send in archers to fight these uh Triarii, which are just gonna get ripped to shreds. Poor archers, just Send something in to hold back the legionaries or the triarii and some legionaries. I mean, have they actually got anything over here that can... No, they've just got archers. Oh, dear. Bactri's in a bit of trouble here. I mean, they have got some sort of spears here that are going to be able to form shield wall. Uh, not form shield wall. They form like a square, which is a really good formation to form. Elephants. Oh, no. Mercenary war elephants. Mercenary Indian war elephants. I forget the Epirus has these guys. This is going to be huge. And they look like... Oh no, I feel sorry. This Triarii unit needs to form square. Form square. I know it's not as good as the like, Napoleonic squares, but... Oh god. There's so many of them. 24 elephants. You just need to... Form square and pray that they that you don't die here. Oh no. Get, have they got... They haven't even got any archers though. If they had some archers on the wall, they could... Certainly deal with these guys. I'm kind of just hanging around here because I really want to see the charge. I really want to see the charge. Let's see it from the perspective of uh, Rome. Is he going to do it? Surely he's going to go go for this. Here we go. This is surely it. Oh god. Poor Romans. And the and Epirus joins the charge at the last minute. So he's going to have infantry and elephant support in this fight. That's great. And there we go. The Triaria here. Uh, probably going to get ripped to shreds. They'll do some damage to these elephants, they are Triarii, but I mean with Thoros Spears supporting them, these elephants will do just fine. I don't think they'll lose any elephants. They need archers up here. They really need archers up here, and yeah, I imagine, I mean combat says even, but yeah, it's only a matter of time. I mean they do have this arch tower actually, this is supporting, uh, and this has, uh, this is fire arrows, so this might be able to send the elephants mad, but I mean they have actually got pikemen down here. Which are now running for their lives like, oh god, we're just, they just come off the walls and like, oh god, what did we get ourselves into? There's flipping elephants down here. Yeah, and the elephants are like, nope, we're going to carry on charging on through. I mean, they are stuck a bit on the Triarii, which haven't actually lost any men yet. They're frightened by enemy unit, but they're, they're shaken, not stirred. Um, and how's it going over here? Mastodon, really, you're struggling. I mean, the pikes here are doing okay. Are this... 64, 72. I mean, they are about to get, be spent, but they've done their job. They've, like, killed so much of Macedon's army. This is basically Macedon's army left. He's got a bit going over here to support him. He's got his pikes to support the, uh, against the elephants, but really, that's not going to be enough. How's Sparta doing over here? Okay, Sparta sent out his entire army, basically. Spartan hoplites out now. Periarchy hoplites. Yeah, this is a problem for the attackers. They've not really got much out here either. Oh, and Athens sent in his... Cavalry, and I didn't even realize. Okay, this is the small of the charges by the cavalry, but I mean, it's got archers. It's taking out archers, and these are gonna be huge because they really need their archers to just kill everything in this huge breach over here. Um, the attackers really are having a, a really tough time. Um, but I mean, they are making some headway. They're nearly off the walls. These light hotplates are breaking. I mean, if they can break all this, this is huge damage to Athens and Bactria. But I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, Bactri's everywhere. I'm really surprised that he's didn't done this. He's like spread himself like everywhere as a supporting army. And his micros are not too bad. And now more elephants. Oh no, this is, this is it for the uh, Pontus army out here, surely. These elephants supported by all this cav and infantry. There's no way they could stop all this. Surely not. Most of this cav is weak. Like, it's not great cav, but... It's not like they've got much cav left yet either. And Mastodon sent his cavalry in to just go and die in the breach. An interesting decision. Bactrian Royal Guard. Oh god, they sent out all sorts. They did. Yeah, it's not looking good. These Scythe Chariots over here, they really need to get out of here. It's perfect time for the Scythe Chariots now to really be going after the infantry. Like, 
perfect time. Balance of power is not looking good. It is in the favour of the attackers. And they've not even really breached the walls of the defenders yet. Uh, the, um, it's in favour of the defenders and the attackers haven't really breached the walls yet. Here we go, another charge. These poor infantry are going to die. Not a great charge, I won't lie. It's, I mean, it's not surprising with mi missile cavalry, but they are going to break these uh, eastern arches, no problem. Yeah, they're really, really struggling over here. Pontus is, I don't know, he's just looking for some way to really... I, he's got to get inside and then save himself from all his cavalry. But, I mean, Athens has got this under lock and key. And Syracuse is just a spent force now. His general's dead. That spent force still has a lot of units in there. A lot of thorax swords. They have so much stuff up on this wall. Like, look at this. This is not. This is a bad thing. Like, they've got one, two, three units up on this wall. This is just a field day for archers. This is a... Something that the uh, attackers did wrong. They just sent up too much stuff at once to try and take out. It's a hillman holding them back as well. And some thorax swords. Yes, it's two units, but in theory, you only need to send up one. And they'll probably... Like, send up one thorax sword. They'll do the job. They'll hold back. They'll, like, kill a lot of these guys. And also, if they start firing... They're wasting ammo on one unit, not on three. Because this isn't a waste. You're probably going to hit a lot of stuff going up there. I don't know if they have much ammo left. This unit certainly has ammo left and is doing some work. But who knows. Um, I don't know if the elephants are going in over there. But let's have a check on the Epirus' elephants. Wherever they are. Um, yep, yeah, Rome and uh, Mastodon still not making much work there. Elephants. Are they all dead? No, I think they're all dead. Oh, no. That's a sad sight. I think they are. All the beautiful elephants. Are they... The trier, I still survived. I was expecting them to die, but I guess maybe the pikes kill, killed a lot of them off? I'm not sure. But yeah, they are about to take this gate. So maybe Rome and Mastodon could change the balance of this battle. They, could, they need to play it smart, but I mean... Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff left. Look at Spar. He's still got so much stuff just camping out in the final, final little capture point. Spartan hot play, uh, roll Spartans, Spartan pikes. Here is a Spartan, some really elite stuff over here. It's not a good sign. Not a good sign. And yeah, look at this. Look at this huge break now. This is all Pontic swords just breaking. So there's like two units of battered thorax swords against all of this in here now. Athens has done really well. I mean, these archers need to just... I don't know why they don't just stand here in the breach. Um, Pontus has the right idea. But Eastern... Archers, just shoot everything in this breach. I mean, there's not much to shoot at, but gotta do your best. Gotta do your best. And the cavalry, I think this uh, Athenian cavalry is dead now, but who knows? Who knows, man? Oh, and the elephants are out over here. What a weird fight. Elephants versus scythe chariots. I'm not really sure how this will go down. Guess they just stand next to each other until one of them died. Like, look at this. He's just. Going along with his little blades out of his side, Charlie getting pushed around, no one actually getting hurt. Such a bizarre, I guess you could, yeah, the archers on there could shoot the chariots, but that's really bizarre. But I mean, yeah, the elephants might as well come over here and deal with Rome. Oh, actually, yeah, this would be a juicy target. All these archers here, juicy target for these elephants. And Epirus is sending out his general now. Clearly, they're all bold enough to send their generals out. They think the battle's done. This has been an interesting siege battle. Um, for siege week, basically. I mean, there's been a lot of different tactics. The attackers actually taking the offense. Uh, the defenders, sorry, taking the uh, offensive. Um, the attackers basically, like, struggling to get through. Like, it's been really, really hard for them. But I've been really glad to show this one because it's showing that you don't have to uh, be defensive in a siege battle. And here comes Rome. He's sending in his best and his brightest. He's sending in the legionaries and the Praetorian guards. Going in to uh, fight some poor Italian swordsmen, I think. Yeah, oh no, Samonite warriors. Yeah, they won't hold very long. They're, sh they're more like shock infantry. It says they're like melee uh, infantry, but they have like really good charge bonus. After that, they kind of get screwed. They were better off as a flanking unit. But this is a big strong line here, actually. I think Rome... Rome's causing a few problems here as well now. Rome's probably actually doing the best out of the attackers. But then that's expected of Rome. To be honest, um, but he is getting contained over here. Actually, I thought they were going to take this gate, but no, it seemed not. They sent over some uh, Thoros spears, and, well, just a lot of Thoros spears, and they just cleared these guys out. All those Thorax pikes, what happened? I know I keep looking elsewhere, and I just don't see what, like, some things, like, they must just, like, 
I don't know, they're just getting focused down or something with Javis, but I mean the Thorax Pikes are doing well over here. They're gonna kill these Thorax Pikes off very... Uh, Thora Thorax Swords. So many Thoraxes going on, and I just can't remember which one's which, apparently. But it is the bread and butter of all these Hellenic armies. This is what you bring, your backbone of your army, your Thorax Swords. They sometimes have good days, and they sometimes have really, really bad days when I played with them, and I... Yeah. It's it. I always have this discussion every time I see them on the battlefield. And here we go. It does look like Epirus has sent his general in. And they'll make quick work of these archers. Yeah, that's a sad sight for Rome. He really would have needed those archers for late game if it was going to get to late game. But, I mean, they have so many reserves to defend us. These poor guys just... Uh, the attackers just from minute one struggling to get through. And it didn't help with Syracuse losing his general early on. Naked swords going in. This is not a good sight. Um, and pikes. Jeez. Those poor men just getting paled and pikes. Oh, and they're getting absolutely, like, javied as well. Just like in this breach. Like, look from their perspective. They're just like, oh, okay, we're going to die up here. I think they're trying to get the ballista. Syracuse is trying to get his ballista really, really close. And that's not a bad idea. There's a huge multitude of men down here. But, I mean... You're not going to get much uh, sh shots out because they'll probably just come out and sally because there's literally no infantry left. This is probably the last of the infantry on this side that's really able to be committed. And it's like a shock infantry unit as well. With no with no clothes. So they're very susceptible to things like pikes. But yeah, more thorax now breaking up there. I mean, it does look like they've finally taken out most of Sparta's cab. If any, if that's anything to go by, and I mean, these chariots actually, I think, might have minced these hoplites as well. I did. I mean, good god. Yeah, look at that. Just run them down, knock them down. I mean, they're already, they're already breaking. But you know, just make sure that they are broken. They're actually wavering as well. Here come the elephants. Oh no. Oh no. Onto these cavalry, and it's unsuspecting. What is Rome doing? He's just gonna let his cavalry get got, and yeah, they're trying to pull out, but no. Here come the elephants, and they'll they'll break these uh, Roman cavalry in no time at all. You imagine? Yes. Look to the standard bearer. I'm not quite sure who's the standard bearer. Is an elephant, but maybe there's an elephant that just carries a standard. But yeah, these poor uh, this poor cavalry is gonna get broken. It's auxiliary cavalry as well. They're so expensive. Such an expensive... And they're going to send in their general. A bold move to send in the general. And there you go. The auxiliary carries breaking, I think. No, it's stu it stood. Okay. The general for um, Epirus is going to pull out. And he's sending in Scythe Chariots to try and kill him. Interesting. I don't think he's really under threat yet. 60... Oh, I don't know. He's actually losing a few quite quickly. The elephants are going to break that cavalry, though. Rome is in. Rome is in though. This is huge. If and Epirus seems almost spent. So they've taken up maybe one of the defending armies, but Bactria, Athens, and Spa look really good still. Even though Spa's like lost all his cavalry, he looks really good. And here come the elephants. Oh god. <laughs> the elephants are just gonna run ha havoc back here. These poor Praetorians, they've done so well, they've got so far. Like Epirus is gone. You'd be like, yes, we've done it, we're in. With all these Thorax swords, well, look at this encirclement they have going on. Actually, this is huge. Where is, like, the armies over here for the defenders? They really need to pull stuff back. Spawn hotplates getting back. More spawn hotplates. Hmm. This could be huge. If they could trap Athens out here. I mean, Athens is quickly pulling back, though. This is a shame. Oh, elephants going in. Elephants going in. Oh, God. Yeah, these poor, poor Praetorians. They're gonna... They probably will kill this... Uh, elef these elephants off if they stay here because there's so much infantry here. Actually, I don't know. That's a lot of dead Praetorians that possibly. Some of them are getting up, but I mean... Oh my gosh, what a chain route. Oh my god. That is a lot of men breaking. And that I was about to say they will probably win this fight, but I think the elephants might have just turned the tide in that fight. I'm not quite sure how because they've got so much stuff in it. The sailing cab breaking now. This one unit only needs to hold out on the elephants. Oh my gosh. I know you don't get killed for breaking stuff, but I mean, these elephants have, like, done more work in, like, breaking stuff than they have in killing, I think. don't think they've killed much, but I mean... 
Jeez, what could you use? I mean, these elephants are basically coming in the right time as well. Like, everything for the attackers is just tired, spent. Look at this exhausted general. It's going to not help with morale. And they're just slowly whittling away at these poor, poor infantry. Jeez, look at that. That is disgusting. And yeah, there you go. Mastodon's general's breaking. So that's basically Mastodon out now. Rome is basically gone as well. I mean, what's he got over here? More Praetorian Guard. There's side chariots in here as well. Jeez. Side chariots are just going to be like, right, we're carrying on. We're going to just cut everyone down. But I mean, they're actually getting focused down by archers now. Oh my gosh, a hail of arrows coming in. Oh, that's a good charge though. That'll surely route what's left of the defenders here. Surely that is route with them. How are these... What? What is this unit? And the chariots broke. Th uh, it's not Thoros Spears. It is. It's 24 Thoros Spears. How are they holding back all of this stuff? That is impressive. Look at the arrows though coming in for all of these. Is the scorpion firing as well? Quite possibly. And here come the elephants again. They're up to their dastardly tricks again. Boosh. Yeah. That's not a good sign. And here comes the general for Rome. He's just going to charge in and he's just... That's not going to end well. And... Oh my gosh. And there's the auxiliary cavalry. Yeah, that's basically all that infantry gone. Yep, Praetorian Guard. Breaking. 53. And they're breaking. Is the general dead? I'm not sure. No, it's just the same casualties. And there we go. The elephants are finally going rampant. And they have broken that Thoros Spear unit, but... At what cost? There's nothing left now for... Like... Masses on to use. They've got one unit of pot plates, some broken, like, royal peltas, some more royal peltas, so we might as well be dead. Armored legionaries, there's hardly anything left. Pontus as well, I mean, he's actually finally been allowed to get inside. The poor, poor man, drunk Norwegian, battling so hard, but I mean, he's got no army left, and Syracuse is down to one unit, of, oh no, two units of Thorax swords, and that's it. They are actually in of the attackers. With the balance of power, there's no chance. These are poor elephants. I say poor. They've done a, a damn good job. I've, uh, I've changed the face of the battlefield, really. And if you're rooting, if you're rooting for the defenders, for the better. And here we go. Look at this solid line. I mean, have you ever had a doubt that there was any men. I mean, I thought Epirus was out, but he keeps seeming to pull out more units out of nowhere. I mean, it's all hidden back here. I can't really see what's going on. But, I mean, they clearly have a lot. They have deployables over here. Like, if they were ready for, like, a final stand, if needs be. Jeez, they were... Yeah, more deployables here. Wow. They had, like, locked down this area. And more up here. Wow. I don't think he's going to be needed. Yeah, that's... Rome's dealt with here. And his Mastodon, I think the whole that the whole side's gone. It's just Pontus left. And yeah, that's that's gonna be a victory, it seems, for the defenders. So after yesterday's um defeat for the defenders, uh if you haven't a few spoilers there if you haven't watched the Siege of Vienna. Um but I would definitely go and recommend going and watching anyway. It's still a really, really good battle. Um we do have victory for the defenders today. The attackers uh just weren't up to it. They just couldn't break through this solid line of defense. It was a really well uh done defense by the uh, defenders causing lots of problems for the uh, attackers bringing all that cavalry but I mean I always find like 4v4 the defenders probably have an advantage to a certain effect you need to bring some really good attackers I think Pontus on this day just weren't good enough I don't think they're they're great defensively I don't just offensively they're lacking something in a siege the swords possibly aren't good enough Pontic swords seem to get outmatched by thorax swords which is never a good sign when your best infantry probably gets outmatched by mid-tier stuff. But here we go, some pikes coming in here. They'll deal with his hillman stuff. For a, for a final little victory here, a few hillmen have to die. Excellent. Bronze, bronze shield pikemen, loyal to the end. Stabby, stabby. Away with their long pikes. There we go, they're just charging on through. They don't even care. These hillmen are gone. They are gone. And this is basically all that's left. Oh no, the elephants are back. These guys can't just stay away. I mean, they have actually got fire ammo uh, in their archers left, so they have scared off these elephants. That was well done by uh, Pontus. Really, what Rome and uh, 
Masson just needed to do. And they would have dealt with these elephants nice and quickly. Here they go, they're going to go. That'll be them probably for the battle. Um, they may come back under control before this battle ends, but it's highly unlikely. And there you go, Pontus is losing his general. And he's waving, he's going to try and pull him out. Never a good idea, this will probably break him. Yeah, that's him broken actually there, he's routed. So that's just going to be it for Pontus. And there we go, the siege is over. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, that siege. It was a costly enemy victory apparently. I don't know, Spa had a lot of his army left. Um, but we will have a look at the end results. Um, so that, that as I already said, that uh, replay was sent in by the Drunk Norwegian. So thank you very much for sending it in. He did get the most kills for the attackers, 2,003. Um, so that was not too bad for himself. So we'll quickly look at his army first. Um, getting a lot of kills with his Pontic Royal Cavalry. Getting 166 with one of them. His uh, chariots getting 477 kills. Jeez. They're insane. I think that might have been when they were running and knocking down a lot of the uh, Spartan um, hoplites that marched outside. And maybe some of the cavalry. I'm not quite sure how good chariots are against cavalry, but they clearly had some effect if they got that many kills. And the Spartan cav didn't just seem to disappear. Um, his pikes got 88, which is okay. His uh, archers getting 152. That's not too shabby, to be fair. Um, and his infantry just did not turn up. 155 is best as swords. Like I said, they just kind of get outmatched by Thorax swords. And it's a real shame, um, really, that for Pontus, that this is their, probably their strongest unit. So you could, they probably could do with a uh, bit of a buff um, in their sword department. But I guess they've got better spears and pikes, which are supposed to um, help them out. But anyway, we'll look at uh, Renric, uh, who played as Macedon. He did okay with his archers, getting 110 kills. His general got 177. His Sorax swords, none of them cleared 100. Cle nearest got 98. Um, it's not great. His hot plates getting 100. I would have probably just brought something a bit stronger than hot plates. Um, not really worth bringing to the battlefield. Um, his royal peltasts getting 130 is their top, and the pikes getting 143, which isn't too bad for pikes on the offensive. Um, but yeah, again, he didn't really seem. I thought he was him and Roe made the like the most. Uh, damage, but like looking at his results, he clearly didn't. Maybe Rome got the most. We'll have a quick look here. Bio Gamer playing as Rome, getting 105 kills as the auxiliary Syrian archers. It's probably the best one there. Um, his armor legionary is getting 210, so that's a very good uh, result for them. I mean, most of these didn't do so well. And his legionaries, I mean, two of them didn't even clear 30. Jeez, another one got 191, which is very good for legionaries. And his Praetorian guard, none of them got even near to 100, which is uh, a real shame. And Nisoki Extraordinarii getting 77. Not great, but it's uh, not awful, I guess. It's not a great unit to bring to a siege. Um, and 215 for his uh, Triarii, which is uh, his best unit they brought to the battle. So not no surprise there. They are a very, very elite uh, unit. Carlos played as Syracuse. Uh, had a tough time with Drunk Norwegian over there fighting Athens. Um, yeah, he lost a general early on, so he was in for a rough ride. His... Uh, Ballista didn't get any kills, which is also worrying. Um, his best unit um, was his Thorax Swords getting 124. Um, and his Pikes got 108, which isn't awful either. Um, and his Archers got 90, which is okay. But he was in a, had a really rough game the entire time at Syracuse. Um, the Great Sage Fist um, getting a lot of kills with his cavalry, actually. 164 for Citizen Cavs. Not bad, I don't. I find. I find, find they usually die quite quickly as soon as they come up some against some decent opposition, they seem to die. Um, but yeah, playing as Athens, he got a lot of kills with his archers. Look at that, 210, 154, 157, 194 with this uh, one. He did really well with all his archers. Excellent. Some of his infantry didn't even see combat. Um, 465 with his pikes and 353 with the other. Insane. Well done to him here. Getting an insane amount of kills. He actually got the most kills out of anyone. Um, Spire only getting 304. We'll get to him in a minute. Um, but that is surprising. Um, and then the Sorak Swords getting like all of them getting over 100. So excellent, excellent, excellent. And then the Night Warrior playing his Bactria. 935 with his Indian Armoured Elephants. Insane. Wow. They did very, very well. I don't know if they, ha if they had any, any XP to start with. But they certainly earned some by the end of the battle. Um, he was seemed to, Bactria seemed to just be everywhere. And it seemed to help him. Like look at the amount of kills he got. He seemed to get a lot of kills from doing that. Archers did okay, getting like solid like 60s, 70s. Um, Bactrian Hillman actually doing okay, getting 95 kills is not bad. Um, but in choke points, they probably can get that. Is Royal Guard getting 160, that's okay. Is Thorax Swords actually doing the best, um, getting 221 for his 
for him. Well, best infantry anyways. Nothing's going to best that, that armoured elephant unit. Um, and there's Thor Thoros Spears doing okay, getting 187. And then the lone berserker um, doing okay as well, getting 284 with his Hunnic Royal Guard, his general. Um, 50 with his elephant system to just disintegrate. His ballista got a lot of kills, getting 235. Um, a was focused on a lot of Triarii, in fairness. Um, his archers did okay as well, getting 113. And his Italian swords doing okay, getting 106, not too shabby. His Samurai Warriors getting 175. And his pikes getting 226, again, not too bad. And then Kevin's Crafter. Kevin Craft. Kevin's Craft On. Don't know why I struggled saying that. Look how much cavalry he brought. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't do so well. The best one getting like 53 kills is Tarantine uh, Cavalry. Um, okay, his he didn't actually send up a lot of his army. He kept a lot of his army in reserve, which is probably why he didn't get many kills. Um, and yeah, the rest of his stuff just didn't really seem to do any impact, which is uh, okay. I guess he was just being the last uh, last ditch defense, which is who you want as your last ditch defense is Spire. So if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more Rome 2 sieges, then please do leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you are new around here. And I hope you guys are enjoying Siege Week so far. I am thoroughly enjoying it. And I hope you guys stay safe and uh, well. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.